okay on our last video I forgot to show you how to create the server key.pem we're going to do that on this video so let's uh, begin before we start it's important that you go to community.filemaker.com and have a look at filemaker server 17 white papers you follow these links and you download these two folders one is the SSL FileMaker Server SSL Certificates Configuration and Use. Have a look at this and we're going to come straight to this uh, section. How to generate a certificate signing request using the command line interface. Um, I'm going to show you how to do this. And also at the end of the video, I'm going to show, uh, show a few problems I had importing the, the certificate. Maybe you have the same, the same issues and I hope it helps. So this I'll, I will edit and put at the end of this of this video. So let's uh, begin. In case you have FileMaker Server 16, uh, we're going to do the following. We're going to stop the databases, uh, stop the services, and then log out. Go to your HD hard drive, double click on it, go into library. Here we go. We look for FileMaker Server and then FileMaker Server 16 Uninstaller. Uh, are you sure? Yes. Type your uh, computer, your server password and OK. Once you uninstall, you should see the following uh, folders in your FileMaker Server folder. I'm going to delete the server request.pem. You don't have to do this. I'm not going into detail on how to install uh, FileMaker Server 17. I have another video where I more or less I have uh, the steps. So I'll just quickly run through the steps. Just remember to have the license certificate in your downloads folder. Otherwise, you're going to get this message. When you get to this section, uh, in my case, I'm going to click on don't use an SSL certificate. So don't worry about it. Just click on don't use SSL certificate for now. What I did as well, I went into sharing and I uh, changed the computer name, put it the fully qualified domain name here. So I just change this name to the fully qualified domain name. So as in www.vovelt.com and click on save. OK, now open applications, utilities, and look for terminal, double click on it. Also in our C store, we're going to delete the server.pem. I don't think you have to do this. It's just me, um, a way to sh of showing uh, that it's going to generate from the terminal in a, in a minute. Go to applications, utilities, open terminal. And here on terminal, uh, we have to type FMS admin certificate create. And now we are going to type the name of our uh, fully qualified domain name that is as well the name we change for our server and in my case is www.vovl.com after this you type key file pass and then you're going to type the password you set for your ssl certificate request uh, the one you type in in my case in godaddy press enter and then you need to type the username but this is the, the username for the admin console, the FileMaker admin console, and the password for the FileMaker admin console. You press enter, and you should get the following uh, line of uh, prompting you that it's, it's finished. And then yeah, I want you to have a look at the C store uh, at the right of this window. And you should see that it's creating the server key.pem certificate. If you see this, uh, well, well done. <laughs> Um, you have the server key and the server request.pem certificates. Let's go back to our C store folder. Uh, we're going to right click on the server request.pem, open with, select uh, author, and look for text edit. Click on it. Select all this text, copy it, command C or copy. In my case, I'm using GoDaddy, so I open my account. And from here, I go into my SSL certificates and I click on manage, select the second gray box, reset the key, click on it 
And here we're going to select the first option, uh, set the key back again. We click on this, click on that box and then paste. And we're going to paste the server key.pem code. Uh, select save and at the bottom of this window click on send click on send saved changes okay now uh, you just have to, you just have to wait for about uh, 15 minutes uh, more or less uh, to get the pending verification from godaddy in my case i take less or a bit longer on details of the certificate you have pending uh, and then you have this window when you have this window, you have to select the download at the first gray uh, box on download, click on it. And here, server type, you select other, the one at the bottom, and select download zip file, the blue box. Now you have a uh, in your download folder or in your desktop, in my case it's on my desktop, a folder with the name, or in my case is Vivelt. Uh, if you click on, double click on it, you see two files. Now let's go back to our FileMaker Server 17 admin console sign in. You sign in and then select configuration, SSL certificate, import custom certificate. And now you have to import the three certificates. The first one we're going to import is the one uh, with the long number in the, in the folder we just downloaded. The, in my case is the F900E9 dot 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 uh, that's the sign certificate file and then the intermediate certificate is the one with the GD bundle and the private key file is the one that uh, is on C store we look for it and then is the server key.pem browse for it and then uh, you select it and then you type the private key password that you set on the SSL certificate uh, in my case in GoDaddy I set this this certificate this um, this password and then you click on import and then you have the following window you should have the following window click on ok and then you just need to restart the filemaker server services and then uh, it should be working your certificate should be working now you should have the following window and that's it as i think i mentioned before i'm an admin guy i'm not too technical at all or an expert on filemaker i'm just uh, learn what I need on FileMaker and use it for work. So this is me learning uh, how to use Terminal for the first time. I just wanted to check what happened if I try to install the, to run the code in Terminal before I run the FileMaker Server 17. And I got this, uh, this uh, code and I got this warning. 